Hello everyone, this is uh, John Zeller, which is from College of Business and uh, Public Management in Wenzhou Khan University, which is from Zhejiang Province. The title of this paper is uh, Ownership Concentration and uh, Firm Performance of Chinese Financial Companies. For the instruction, there will be three main ideas. Uh, ownership concentration with uh, company performance in financial companies. Ownership concentration might have a positive monetary function, so it is important to focus uh, these two terms. For the second and third, ownership concentration with uh, company performance during COVID-19 epidemic and uh, between different uh, national faculty. Does the COVID-19 epidemic adversely affect ownership concentration on company performance? Does the nature of equality affect the relationship? For the definition, I define there are two. For the first, it is the Hofeldhoff-Hirschman index. It is the sum of squares of the top ten shareholders' shareholdings. For the COVID-19 epidemic dummy, it is the time which is after 2019. For the lecture review, ownership concentration is associated with less effective use of financial resources. Firm performance may be influenced by the role of liability structure variables. Changing the concentration of the equity structure can lead to a decrease in the profitability. According to Kim in 2019, higher ownership concentration in Countries with low confidence quality will also reduce the risk uh, insolvency. So, so it seems that there are different opinion, opinion, opinions during the federal index and the firm performance. For the hypothesis, there are three main hypotheses uh, all about the performance difference uh, between different ownership constraints. For the hypothesis one, Ownership concentration has a positive impact on financial firm performance. For the hypothesis two, the positive impact on the ownership concentration on firm performance weakened during the COVID-19 epidemic. For the hypothesis three, the nature of equity has a significant relationship during the federal Hirschman index and the corporate performance. For the data source. Um, all the data is from China stock market and accounting research. The sample period is between 2010 to 2021. The frequency is uh, quarterly. For the sample selection, I select the companies with the objectives of financial companies, stable growth, accumulated uh, assets, and the company listing time. For the variables, uh, there are a uh, Hirschman index, the number of shareholders, firm size, growth rate, and uh, firm age. There are three main methods to measure the Hirschman uh, Hirschman index. Hirschman Hirschman index is the sum of the squares of top 10 shareholders' shareholdings, and the COVID-19 dummy is equal to 1 if the year is after 2019 and the nature of equity dummy is equal to y if it is the stated ownership enterprises. For the firm performance measure, there are two main methods, the OLS models and the OLSS models with dummies. For the result, uh, you can see that the Mean of the uh, federal Hirschman index is 0 0.0, uh, 0 0.166, and uh, the most significant uh, uh, dependent variable is the Tobin skew, which is uh, 0 0.773. For the main regression results, uh, we can see there is a significant uh, relationship between the uh, federal index and uh, the top scale, which is uh, 0 0.804. Although the, uh, there is a significant relationship between the ROE and the uh, federal 
how should my index but the number is too small so we can so maybe we can ignore it for the core 19 and the phone performance uh, we can see that uh, the COVID-19 is a significant uh, relationship between the topping skill, which is uh, minus 0 0.183. And uh, for the COVID-19 multiple or final hole index, uh, there is uh, no meaningful because there is no significant. But from the last uh, result, we can know that uh, the COVID-19 will weaken the performance. For the random effect, uh, to, in to make the results more reliable, so we use the random effect uh, we can see that uh, it is also significant uh, significant uh, with the uh, fat hole index and the top Q, which is uh, 0 0.662 and the COVID-19 which is uh, minus uh, 0 0.156 which supports uh, our result before so the first and the second hypothesis uh, Seems true. Seems to be true. For the regression of the state ownership enterprise and the non-state ownership state ownership enterprise, we can see that the state-owned enterprise is significant with the fat hole index, which is zero point. 358, but uh, for the non-state on ownership, uh, it is uh, 0 0.044. But the but the relationship is uh, not significant. We assume that it is uh, it is due to that uh, it is, is because there is uh, no sufficient uh, samples, which is only 428. But for the third uh, volume, we can see that uh, that is significant uh, with the uh, that uh, with the uh, fat hole Hashimoto index uh, multiple nature of equity. So we can know that there is a significant relationship between the nature of equity and the uh, fat hole index, but we cannot uh, prove that uh, the state-owned ownership enterprise. Uh, is uh, more associated than the non-state ownership enterprise. So we need to continue working on this field. And for the conclusion, uh, companies generally decline in performance after 2019. Ownership concentration significantly improves uh, from performance, but uh, after 2019, which is the COVID-19 epidemic, harm uh, concentration after on um, company's performance, uh, the result support both for the hypothesis one. When the concentration of top ten ownership uh, increased, the performance of the firms will increase. Uh, but uh, during the COVID-19 epidemic, uh, when the concentration increased, the performance will also increase, but the number will be smaller than the time before 2019. For the nature of equity, we can know that the, uh, there is a significant relationship between the Natural vehicle and the uh, Fed Hall Hashimoto index and uh, form performance.